How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here with a Metal Gear Solid 5 The Definitive Experience News Update. The following information comes from the official Metal Gear Twitter, as well as the Twitter of Konami US Community Manager Robert Allen Peeler, through which he answered fan questions regarding the recently announced MGS5 collection or bundle. Topics of conversation included everything from general information regarding the definitive experience to more popular topics like the status of the cut Mission 51 and hints regarding the true nature of Chapter 3. There is a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's begin by taking a look at tweets from Robert Allen Peeler's personal Twitter. Unsurprisingly, one of the earliest feedback that he received was regarding the alleged missing Chapter 3. When a Twitter user posted, It's a shame that the Definitive Edition has no Chapter 3, Robert replied with the following, It contains the same nuclear disarmament goals as the initial release, so dot dot dot. It looks like what Robert is trying to hint at is that Chapter 3 is none other than the secret nuclear disarmament event that was announced following the release of Phantom Pain. According to the website, to unlock this event, players must meet the following four conditions. 1. You must have completed Mission 31. 2. You must not own or be currently developing a nuclear weapon. If you have any nukes in stock, you must dismantle them. 3. Certain conditions related to nuclear proliferation must be met on the regional server for your corresponding gaming platform – PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. And 4. All nuclear weapons on the regional server corresponding to your console or platform must have been dismantled. In other words, the amount of nukes on your platform server must be equal to zero. Unfortunately for Konami, incentive for this event was minimized when the cutscene that was to be triggered by the successful completion of the nuclear disarmament event was leaked online. The cutscene essentially shows the number of nuclear weapons in the world of Metal Gear Solid 5 being reduced to zero, and it sort of acts as this hidden ending intended to deliver an anti-nuke, peace-themed message and meta-plot element to the players. It seems as though Robert is suggesting that this is Chapter 3, and this makes sense when you consider that Chapter 3 is called Peace. Nothing quite encompasses that word than people en masse coming together to disarm all the nukes in the world, even if in a figurative way. So I think what Robert is hinting at is that if you unlock the nuclear proliferation cutscene properly, you will see that Chapter 3 Peace title card that data miners found, and the cutscene that was leaked will play. As Robert stated in response to allegations regarding Chapter 3, the simplest answer is likely the correct one. No need to overthink it. As if Robert's tweets on his personal Twitter account wasn't enough of a hint, check out this reply that he posted through the Metal Gear official Twitter when a fan expressed the notion that there might be a deadline to the nuclear disarmament event. The tweet says, Peace has no deadline. Yeah, I don't think hints get any more blatant than that. It is my belief that the safest assumption to make regarding Chapter 3 is that it is and has always been the completion of the nuclear disarmament event. Moving on, let's talk about general information regarding the Definitive Experience packaging itself. One frequently asked question was what incentive people who already own Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain have to buy the Definitive Experience. Robert replied honestly that it contains all of the DLCs released for Ground Zeroes, Phantom Pain, and MGO3, but if that's something you're not interested in, then there's really no reason to repurchase the games by buying this package. One user even asked if Ground Zeroes would be updated to incorporate gameplay changes made for Phantom Pain, to which Robert replied that no gameplay changes to Ground Zeroes are planned. Basically, it's going to be exactly the same as when it originally shipped. Another common question was if the Definitive Experience would feature any new story content, and the answer to that was a simple, no additional story content is planned. So basically, the definitive experience is just all the Metal Gear Solid 5 content released from launch until now, bundled together. Robert also added that the extra in-game digital content from the Collector's Edition of MGS5 would be included in this package. But according to Robert's post via the Metal Gear official Twitter, bonus gifts from the Collector's Edition that wasn't integrated into the game like the Mission 51 video will not be included. 
Another Twitter user asked how Ground Zeroes would be integrated in the packaging. Robert replied with, it's not integrated in the TPP mission menus, but you can pull it up from the title menu. He further elaborated on the Metal Gear official Twitter by replying to a fan question asking if it's as simple as switching between Phantom Pain and NGO3, to which he replied, it's that simple, yes. Another question that was answered on the Metal Gear official Twitter was whether people who purchased the definitive experience would have to play Ground Zeroes before playing Phantom Pain, and the answer to that is no, so you can play them in any order you want. Finally, for general information on the Definitive Edition, someone asked whether there would be any disc switching involved with this collection, to which Robert replied on his personal Twitter page, you don't switch discs. In other words, this Definitive Experience will bundle everything in one disc. With that out of the way, let's move on to the last major topic of discussion on Twitter, Mission 51. When a Twitter user inquired whether it would be released at some point, Robert honestly replied on the Metal Gear official Twitter page with, I'm afraid we have no current plans to further develop for Mission 51. Further elaboration was given on the matter in a separate tweet when Robert replied to another Twitter user with this statement, Mission 51 development was cancelled before the release of TPP last year. It is not planned to be included with the definitive experience. Then, in response to another user's question, Robert also had this to say about the cut mission. Mission 51 is not complete. Its development was cancelled prior to the initial release of the Phantom Pain. Later on, another user asked how this can be considered to be a definitive experience if the ending is still missing, to which Robert responded, the ending isn't and has never been missing, but this is a prequel game to Metal Gear, released in 1987. The user then replied with, Mission 51 says otherwise, to which Robert responded with, Mission 51 is additional story content that was cancelled before development finished, but it's not the ending. Another user then argued that Mission 51 was actually a full-on story mission for an important plotline, to which Robert responded, all story content contains plot points, however, 51 was additional, initial release planned to end at 50. If we scroll back up, there is a whole other thread with this other user, who in response to Robert's initial tweet about how MGS5's ending was never missing, asked, then where is it? To which Robert replied with, the ending is found in the missions within. Many threads continue in Metal Gear and subsequent games. This was reciprocated with a question asking why only owners of the Collector's Edition got to see Mission 51 and not everyone else, to which Robert replied, this was a bonus gift to CE buyers showing behind the scenes content in early development. The user continued by pointing out that the mission was supposed to be the only closure for the Eli Mantis plotline in MGS5, to which Robert responded, Both of those characters appear in later Metal Gear games and provide additional story and plot to them. The conversation finally ended with the user stating that the future Metal Gear titles never mention or reference the events of Mission 51 with Sahelanthropus and the Parasites and whatnot. You know, I think both sides have their points. On the one hand, Mission 51 isn't necessarily vital to the whole Metal Gear Solid 5 experience. It looks like it's another Salanthropus battle, and whatever story it did feature is already up on YouTube via the video that shipped with the Collector's Edition. So fans already know everything there is to know about that mission. However, there's also no denying that it still sucks that we won't get to experience the mission the way it was supposed to be. Even if it is another Sahelanthropus battle, and even if it isn't necessarily a vital mission, it still looks like it could have been a great mission for fans to play had it been completed. It's got an epic looking scale battle, it's got this cool Kingdom of the Flies motif, and one can never complain about additional story, cinematics, and gameplay content. So even if it isn't a vital thing, it still sucks that it was cut and that we can't enjoy it in the way Kojima originally envisioned it. But oh well, it is what it is. The fact of the matter is that we are getting no new story content with a definitive experience and there are no plans to complete Mission 51. Chapter 3 is most likely a meta chapter involving us players working together to disarm all nukes in our respective platform and region, so that nuclear proliferation event, and all in all, the definitive experience is aimed at people who have yet to experience any of the Metal Gear Solid 5 games or DLC. That pretty much seems to be the point that Konami US community manager Robert Allen Peeler is trying to drive across with his latest tweets. 
What are your thoughts on the matter? What do you think about what Robert had to say about Chapter 3 and Mission 51? What are your thoughts on the contents and features of the Definitive Experience Bundle? Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on Metal Gear news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out! <laughs>